Okay, back again, folks. We, we come in towards the left aileron here. And as you can see, over here you can actually get to it. They have a little hole. It's a lot easier. A lot easier. We're just using normal engine oil. Okay. Yeah. What is the engine oil here? Is it the W100? W100. Yeah. Okay. And we have three, three places here to do it as well. Correct. And as you can see, it's also got the, the covering over the ailerons for keep things streamlined and just the little holes. You wonder why they didn't do it at the back there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. A bit of a... And the last one, yeah. And what you're going to do, we're going to do the same on the other side. It's, it's basically duplicated. And what this is, is just like a, a rod sitting inside a cylinder and yeah with time they can become all loose oh okay and worn and then you just put these little bushes over there these little brass bushes oh. so the aircraft engineer will come along and test it this tiny movement there yeah but it's probably be acceptable to him when he comes along next week yeah and yep this one's nice and tight mm, you so might want one replace but we, you, you do have you can get spares yeah yeah and that's what i'll do and i guess you'll check it over and yes, yes make a decision yeah. This sort of stuff we're about to do. Oh, very good. Yeah, so I'm going to do the other side. Yeah. Exactly what I've done now. Great. So we're going to be doing the other side here. So look at this wing. As you can see, we've got some crutches here, just in case there's injury on the airfield. And you can also just boil these other ones out too. They get enough oil from the engine anyway. But I do like to boil them. And then what we can do, we can do a test. Of our cables, you take a cloth, yeah, and you run it up and down, and if it hooks anywhere, there's a cable that's broken. Okay, yeah, doesn't yeah. seem to be any cable that's broken, it's not hooking anywhere. So, what we can do is also oil these. I, I use the same one, engine oil, As yeah, the aircraft needs a nice good clean, which is get shortly. So, I find the best way is actually using my fingers. Okay, so you take so check it with the cloth before you go and rub your fingers otherwise you could get a, <laughs> a, <big injury. laughs> a sharp piece of cable through your finger yeah. i've used all different types of oil thin oil different oils to try and stop rust because the problem with these things is they metal so they do rust yeah yeah you know, this the ocean so you get all this sea breeze okay and i found the best is this engine oil fresh engine oil this doesn't blow off oh, so it sticks a little bit yeah the, the, the fine oils they last about a week only two. Oh, okay. They, they, they do penetrate probably easier because they're fine oil, so they don't stick around. Yeah. But this one sticks around for ages. And since I've been doing this, you know, there's no like rust. I see. Yeah. And these aren't stainless steel or anything. They're just, I don't know yeah. they're made off, but stainless. And how long would a cable last for? Would you have a guesstimate? be a lifetime oh okay because uh, as long as you treat them that's the main thing oh, i see yeah, if you don't treat them they're gonna rust get rust spots on them if they get rust spots on them well okay they can start splitting so so they need a bit of a, a bit of treatment yeah the care care yeah that's right maintenance a bit like a relationship you gotta maintain it all the time and this i tend to do every two to three months just depending, you know, you can look at them, you can see them. And these I ones see. also get a little bit of a, an oiling, every two to three months. Okay. There's always wear and tear which wears these things down. Yeah, mm. just vibrations. Vibrations. And just, just the usage of it. And the air blows all the oil away. Okay. Nice good air. Probably and these ones, they do leak. You know, they come out just now, wipe up the oil, and then once it's good. Okay. And that's all that, except there's one more underneath here. Yeah. So this is also why we sort of try to start, start off one end and we sort of work our way around so we don't um, miss, anything. miss yeah. anything. And um, if you do miss anything, or if you do notice something, come back to it, don't just uh, 
wish it away. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Here we go. How's that? Is that good? Oh, okay, looking good. Yeah, now I'll go and do it exactly on the other side. So we're going to do the other side and then we'll be moving to the forward end. So I'll start off with the other one, so I can do it. And then we'll down the table and then we'll get the forward end to reach the Great. Okay, to the front. So we're going to do the exact same and then we'll we'll catch up again at the front end of the tiger moth, greasing the tiger. <laughs>